but the most fundamental thing that any person can do is to comfort. And so we say, cure when possible, but comfort always. Uh, it has to be our most uh, basic uh, obligation. I sort of had a dream when my brother Michael, when he got out of high school, that we could work together sometime. Not sure what it was. Taught him as a sophomore medical student. We created quite a bond, which allowed me to get to know him as an adult. So we taught each other a lot of stuff. And I read an article by Dr. Boris Levinson about the veterinarian role in mental health. And we as veterinarians understand the human-animal bond, but we need a physician to be consistent in promoting this. I got my brother interested, and so we started together talking and publishing starting in 1970. We see the power of an animal's unconditional love. So we think that the power of that uh, bond is extraordinary, and that we have just begun to explore ways that it can be creatively used. We didn't know how big it was going to be, but I think we saw a vision of what it could be. With my brother's influence and Dr. Leo Bustead, who's another big name in the human-animal bond movement, we have legitimized the field. So 1991 is when we created the Pet Partners, of which we now have over 15,000. The critical thing we needed then was to take the research into clinical and community settings. Dr. Bill McCulloch is the one who introduced me to Pet Partners. He was just saying, you know, you might be um, perfect for Pet Partners. Why don't you just come and um, join us? And I looked into it, and the rest is history. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants to hear a story. I, I know it may sound cliche, but it's very rewarding. Very good. When I was growing up, my mom was ill a lot. And so I was pretty much growing up in a hospital and viewing how people were usually lonely. Knock, knock, Lucy's here. And so we first started um, Pet Partners thinking that we can start visiting hospitals. Pet Partners has given me the opportunity to also be certified with hospice work, but that's thanks to Pet Partners giving us the opportunity to be able to do all that different activities. And we feel like we're making some difference, especially at that moment for that child or adult or whoever it might be. And this is where I think our pet partners are really tuned in to being educated about the human health benefits, how to apply these effects at the bedside in hospitals or in the community settings. They really get a feeling they're part of a professional organization in the healthcare field. I started doing therapy work a little over five years ago. I've always been a, a dog lover, always had dogs. I had uh, spent some time working at a, a nursing facility and was acutely aware of the positive value dogs could bring to patients in, in care facilities. My name is Dan, but this is Parker. He's the important part. When we went into the room, we knew a little bit about the patient and uh, were sensitive to what her situation was, knew that she had undergone some pretty significant trauma. Her spirits were down and she needed to be lifted up. A Good boy. We got a beautiful smile out of her uh, when we put Parker up on the bed with her and the mom said that's the first time I have seen her smile in quite some time. And that's very rewarding. Thank you. Oh, she broke out in big smile. Yeah. Uh, mom said she has Yeah. I just say keep up the good work, keep up the persistence because there's always challenges but just like we've done throughout 40 years, they can be overcome, and passion is what does it. We want to facilitate the growth of this area uh, in local communities, towns, universities, uh, and we stand ready to, to be of help to whoever's interested. My brother Michael grasped that very quick. He had insights even as a pre-med student. My brother already knew what it was going to be like. It was in his dream. He didn't have to be to see it and he's sure seeing it now. This is exactly the importance and why we promote pet partners and our 15,000, giving them support, continuing education. We are well respected by the healthcare field. It's all about personal relationships and enthusiasm. Keep your enthusiasm up. Even when 24 hours ahead, you gotta bathe your dog before you take it in. There's a lot of work being a pet partner. So just keep it up, you're all winners.